All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. We're now fast approaching the very interesting parts of the story of this game. And therefore, we're also approaching some very good times and some very sad times. And this is to me when the, when the story really starts to bite down and, and give you everything it's got. So, obviously, I'm going to be excited for that, right? This is when I when I first played this game. During this part is when I really started seeing the beauty of what this game really had. And by the end of it, you're just like, like wow, what was that? So, um, exciting times. Anyways. I've seen some of the comments. You guys have been telling me that there's a stranger mission. Or a stranger, at least. Hold on, my horse is kind of stuck here. For whatever particular reason, I don't know. A stranger mission, some of you told me, um, East of Armadillo, that talks about some of the events that occurred with the gang, and I'm going to try my best to remember to do it in this episode. But now, Father Abraham. Whoa, whoa. Hey, senor. I was just taking a piss. What's going on here? trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Muévese, cabrón. Muévese. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. That's it. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you. She got him with that. respect for your loss. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. I think everyone needs a friend like John Marston. Let's go. <laughs> we do not have much time to prepare the ambush. Without the criminal background, of course. <laughs> oh, God. I think now is when we take down the Mexican scumbags. Sorry about your father. The bad ones, of course. This must not be in pain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chupa Rosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende, for what you did to the rebels. 
I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Linde betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. You see? Allende is pura maldad. When He's they will cut his heart out. For me, you, him, we're all shooting people. It don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston. The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence. And all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso. New Paradise. Yes. One day, it will live up to its name. I want to make sure, okay, clear the air before you guys start talking nonsense. Well, some of you guys. Mexican scumbags, the bad ones. Why do you okay? doubt It's like we have so scumbags much, everywhere. It's I guess I air. can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. Then, if we spilled enough blood, we could change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Free them. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. She clearly doesn't know what we've been through. Clearly. Today, we save Mexico. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible. Oh, wow. But it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. That will not be necessary. Put the gun down. Okay, Luisa, I'm sorry. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio, too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but... I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. A gentler childhood than what we had, man. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No. Destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above. Watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vale, where do you want it? Um, okay. Show the rebels where to bury the explosives on the road. Okay, so press where to mark the location. We could put one right here. Bury one right here. Another one right here. Another one here. And then possibly. By keeping the dynamite spread out, you have three dynamite charges left. Couldn't read this that message. Good. Here's good. Hmm. Perfect. All right. 
So we'll go. This reminds me of uh, what are the missions from Red Dead Redemption 2. That's freaking cool. Look at the sunset. Oof. Or sunrise. There's Luisa. All right, let's Good. save your people, Luisa. I am Luisa. glad you are here to help us. We've got this. They are coming. Get ready, John. Oh, yeah. These are supplies to be used against my people. They must be destroyed. Where are they coming from? Left? I think it's from the left, right? That's why I put one there on the uh, fork on the road, just in case they came from that little hill up front. But I think they... Yeah. Look, this should be easy. They are coming. Press RT to detonate the active dynamite. Ch change the active dynamite with LS. Probably okay. This is good. Hold on. I don't know if I should have put one left and right of each other like that. Quick! Now is your chance. That's right. Try punks. That's right, bitch. I dare you. That wagon is in range. Ah. Do not let me down. Yes. Yo, that was perfect. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. That was actually pretty perfect. I love how she just leaves me here stranded after I just helped her out. You could have at least offered a ride, you know? That would have been nice. All right, so we got to go back to Lisa now. All right. Here we go. Captain DeSanta's downfall. This is it. What is it? Ah, oh, my. John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal, the Santa, has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Go Let's now. My men will show you the way. I will stay with the camera. Let's go. Right to Sepulcro. Vámonos, mis amigos. If it was a Cuban here, they'd be like, Dale, I said it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That'd be funny as shit. Oh, look at that pink sky. Dear Lord. Absolute beauty. Let's go. Wow, man. Look at that. Sunset. Oh, sunrise. That's a sunrise. Ooh. Dear goodness. Wow, oh, man, that's pretty. Yeah. It's cute as fuck. Alright. It's cute ass. It's cute as fuck. Sunrise. Sun sunrise. It's about to get ugly, boys. Buckle down. We're going in on this one. Let's go. There's a squad at. They're like all the way back there. Wait, should I wait for them? <laughs> Just probably wait for them. Maybe they have things to say or something. I don't, I don't know. Was I a bit ahead of myself? It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. El sepulcro is just up ahead. All right, let's hold up here a minute. 
Oh my god, I was supposed to oh whatever man. Sorry. Tell your men not to open fire until I make a move. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. In the nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! What an ass, dude. I hate that guy. Bro, you're all dying. You know you're dying, right? You're dying, bro. You're dead, friend. The guy scummy as hell, bro. He didn't like the captain, so he got sent him to get killed. understand that oh you don't understand anything at all the Santa let me go I am begging you all right slow don't worry I wish we could slap them here when they're on the horse like we did in Red Dead Redemption 2 like if they keep talking just smack them My across the head kill you On whose orders, huh? You're about to be dead. So, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, we can come to an agreement. Hey, 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 hey. Spare me, and I will make you a rich man. Oh, come on. Come over here. Come over here. If what? you kill me, we have the entire Mexican army after you. Why is it that I can't take him out of the horse? What the hell's going on here? There we go. That took longer than expected. Think about what you are doing. Beating that ass. That's right. That's right. You fucking pig. Go back to your country. Where is Javier Escuela? That's fucking right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Casa Madruga. It's hold up there. Oh, hurry up and kill me or just let me go, okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? It was Allende, not me! Do it, compadre! <sighs> I told you what you wanted! Uh. 
It is time to make a decision, my friend. Now we're even, Captain. See, si! Viva Abraham! I love how you shoot him in the nuts when done. he dies. Come on, <laughs> now we find your friend. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. Get back on your horse. Relax, you hey, you don't, you don't give me orders. I am glad it was you, compadre. There's some things you gotta finish yourself. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. Oh, we yeah. all will, my friend. My if friend. If is dead, the Santa is dead, the army is without leaders, we must move on Allende now before it is too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Oh, that felt I'm telling you, I told you the story is about to start getting Come on. crazy Why are you good. For Javier Escuela? We was friends once, long time ago. Not anymore. Old friends. Make their worst enemies. You're Damn. telling hey, me. That's a good Escuela one. is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. Javier Escuela. <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. Oh. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> You lied to me, man. You freaking lied to me. I forgot we got lied to. How many times have we gotten lied to? In this stinking place. Unbelievable. Alright. say about that uh, who <laughs> Luisa the girl from Campo Morada uh, all right a gentleman never tells but she was a most wonderful uh, I just say she was incredible yes let me tell you something 
I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you going to marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> what a guy, dude. What a fucking guy. Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. Right shotgun. Oh, we've got TNT on the back. We gotta be careful. Bien. Vamos, hermanos. And now we're going off to El Presidio. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's man at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you in Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. He must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. Word travels fast around here, even without cell phones. Shit. Where are they, Abraham? <laughs> they are at a presidio jump. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take a presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, oh, you should have wow. trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. Cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. The Dutch started falling apart. It hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die when he had a chance to save me. Didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. <laughs> I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. Nice little backstory there. Would have been nice if they would have emphasized. Who was that girl back there? Another loyal supporter of three men. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Young? I'm a semi literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will 
never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, it will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. Uh -huh. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? Huh. An army of players, of kings. <laughs> I wish I'd never asked. I was saying, I wish they would have gone a little bit deeper with Javier Escuela's story in RDR 2, or at least a little bit of a chapter there. We could have gone much deeper. Maybe side stories, side missions. Um, discover more of that in RDR 2. It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them have been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. What an ass, they're an inferior race. What? What a guy. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheep. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life! But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself! Alright, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. Oh boy. I'm surprised we haven't gotten shot at. I have at. to say, I'm not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Enriquez. Uh -huh. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. See, man, that would have been perfect. We have more, uh, Mexico content. All right. Let's get to work, boys. Enough is enough. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long is the fuse? <laughs> Yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Remember That's to crazy. jump, my friend.
It looked like I died again. But I'm just saying. Just tower for a squilla. Open R. Ooh. I don't think he's gonna be in there, John. Oh, we did get some cash. There we go. Go up top here. Things ain't looking bueno, my friend. You gotta love it. Oh, shit. What is that? Alright, I'm just gonna hop on over. Still somebody right here. Hold on. Boy's getting a little crazy on me right now. Ah. <laughs> Yo, he might be right here in the center. Or he could be up top. Javier! I just want to talk! There's TNT right there. Javier Escuela! Gotta be up top, right? Yeah, I think he's here, dude. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? Is it the same voice, actor? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I don't know. It kind of I'm sounds... telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin. And now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa. you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. What a guide. <laughs> Never won. You got us, this job. That's enough. Hog tire, crew squirrel. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna hog tire him. I need some fucking answers, Javier. This guy's gonna fucking kill me. Yeah! You don't have the heart to kill me! Give it up, ah. brother! <laughs> I got his little ass. <laughs> I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge it. 
Where's Bill? I don't know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? You think I won't kill you, brother? <laughs> he ain't here, brother. He's with agenda. Um, dude, this is crazy. We're taking out our. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Come here, you stinking horse. Come on, amigo. I'll be killed with the watches. Oh, look Abigail at this would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. Man, this Come is on. crazy. We was wow, family, huh? brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Oh, man. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Put him in the cell for now, John. I think I don't know if they killed him the first time or not. It was Bill, not me. Right, you just keep blaming yeah. everybody else. And he's next. Oh, you shit. Hope you're sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had be nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. <laughs> uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. Man, I want to kill him. Let me send reinforcements. Go. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> It's not the same voice actor, for sure. The army is coming! Get up there and man that cannon! Oh, shit. It's crazy. The, the voice actors in RDR2 really are incredible. Oh, I'm supposed to. Oh, shit, it's here. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. All right. That's right. Yeah, that's fucking right. Mm. Oh, come on. I feel bad for the horses. That, that's that's about it. <laughs> More coming this way. Oh wow, the cannon barely goes with any. Oh, this. Time. Sucks. That's what it was. Oh, man, I'm not hitting those guys back there. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves here and start jumping like a maniac again, John, and end up freaking dying. Where's Javier Escuela, huh? <laughs> Nobody's coming to save you now, bucko. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. Mm. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, boy. 
Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> what a piece of shit, dude. So before we get into the next mission for this episode, I've officially found the stranger that everyone's been telling me about. So here we go. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's gonna be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? Mm. What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. A really interesting character indeed. Go, John, go. Or are you not the man I thought you were? Alright, here we are. Good to see you. Well, no harm done. Who was I? <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. Yeah, and what do you want? Look, don't ask me how, but I know what you're about to do, and you need this. I just encouraged him accidentally. What? Oh. Uh, thank you. Look, there's no need to thank me. It's obvious you need this. <laughs> you're damn right I do. I deserve a good woman. You're right. Don't mention it. Yeah. Go on now. Oh, I'm... Uh, oh. Mm. <laughs> Fast, woman. Now then, where were we? That's better. <laughs> what the fuck? That was an honest mistake. And I tried to take it back. And I cannot load anything else. So now we have to deal with the consequences. Welcome to Nuevo Pariso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. For your sake, I hope he don't. But why are you faithful to your wife if you pay a man to sleep with whores? I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway. I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery to take the money she raised at the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. So he's giving me multiple I hope you options. Don't. Damn. I probably fucked it up. <laughs> it's fine. I just want to see the dialogue, which is what you guys have been telling me. 
Can I take this donkey? Oh, come on, man. Fuck, I've been down to ride a donkey in this game. Okay, let's go save the nun. What's in you, you damn mutt? All right, let's do this. Here we go. This is super interesting. I wonder if me encouraging the man to be a player has totally messed everything up. Dude, this looks exactly Whoa. like... You know what this looks like? Like the area where Arthur spoke to the nun. <laughs> right? It does. Whoa there. There are many people without food. Gather poor. Arms for the poor. Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart? to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Damn. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. Okay. Huh, where's the strange man now, huh? So it seems like the third encounter is supposed to occur over here. But we're not on this part of the world yet. Uh, I'm assuming that's after we're done with Mexico. We can head back over here and then do that. That's why the mission is not popping up for us. So we'll continue on with the main story. All right, so we're here. Seems like things have been going down for real. <laughs> An appointed time. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Escuchen rebeldes, escuchen cómo cantan los Otra vez. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> The American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, American. Yeah, yeah, matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, that's right, dude. Santa, Santa Maria. Wow. So you want to settle this now, friend? They killed her just you like that. Shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl. Okay, but. We fight like men, not like dogs. I would have shot his ass. I don't care. Oh, God, this is going to be horrible. I always lose these.
Fuck them. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the Coronel. Was that Luisa that they, they killed? It there was, are right? prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Leave the speeches to me, Jump. You release the prisoners. Oh, man. That was her. Was it not? Oh, God. I, I honestly had no recollection of that. Bro, what are you guys doing? Are you insane? Are you fucking insane? Have you lost your mind? All right, John. We can, I'm sure we can open up a door here. To the locks. You almost took your head off. Compadre. Or shall I say, compadre? Boom. 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 Oh, boom. 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 <laughs> Too nasty with it, baby. Friend. Come on. A triple dare you. Look out, John. Triple quadruple dare you. This guy's got a Gatling, a Gatling gun over there. Oh shit, alright, let's get it. We will pass through the door with no powder barrels. Wait while we get everything into position. That's right. Ahora, hermano, shoot the barrels. Let's go, friend. This feels like some sort of Scarface uh, mission or some shit. There are more coming up the hill. Oh, yeah. Preparados, defending la puerta. No venga nadie entrar. 
Shit, they ain't gonna tell me twice. Get back on my gun. Are about to get really back on my nice. little Gatling gun. My Metrallora. Come and get me! John. Pretty sure we're clear. Let's get it. Come on! We can still get to my stagecoach! Go then! I'll cover you! They're getting away! We have to stop them! Nah, bro. Mm -mm. Catch Williamson. Vamonos! Date prisa, cabron! To their horses, comply! We cannot let them get away! Give up, Williamson! I already got a squala! to follow what is that blue dot reyes okay i don't think i have to be with him or anything i think man i don't know i'm just gonna keep going here Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. What a guy, dude. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor. You bastard orphan. And you always was a dumb inbred hick. Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón. Oh, all right, John. I'll, I'll come quietly. Wow, what? Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. I've never done that before. Or did I? <laughs> oh, shit. He killed the for me. Bastard. Yeah, I think Reyes is he's just fed up with the bullshit. I was hoping we get more dialogue. And it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. <laughs> Who was she again? <laughs> Your peasant girl wife to be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Luisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull in was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. 
Good luck with the revolution. Let's get, it looks if like you win shit. power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. Wow. So I was hoping Bill Williamson would say more. Um, he did say a couple of things. Threw a little couple of jabs at John about him being an orphan, uh, an, an orphan uh, from within an orphanage, I guess we can say. I don't know. That was interesting. So to end off this episode, we finally got the final stranger encounter and it seems like we are we're back at our ranch which is kind of odd we have to stop meeting like this hey there's a beautiful spot sure what are you doing here my accounts i'm an accountant is that so in a way what's your name you know, it's the darndest thing I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. Oh, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. I guess I didn't get the uh I wonder if encouraging that man affected that outcome. It's kind of funny how he was here. This is exactly where we get buried, which is super Whoa. crazy. Something's up with that dude. Alright, guys. So I think we're gonna call it quits here. I think I think next time for sure we are gonna be in fact finally seeing Dutch. As we head back into this part of town and all the craziness that comes with it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We're almost done with the game. And it's going to be a sad time. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop it a like. And I will hopefully catch you guys later.